All right, welcome back. Thanks for watching. So, yeah, I'm going to warn you now, this one, uh, the clock portion of this carve doesn't doesn't make it to the final part of the video. I uh, somehow screwed up when I, when I reversed the image to do the back because it, it involved a double-sided toolpath. I had to make a pocket hole in the back for the movement to recess into the wood, and then I needed to drill a hole for the movement shaft to go through the face of the clock. And I, somehow I got off by half an inch. You'll see when we get to that point in the video. But uh, ultimately I decided instead of using wood filler and, and that kind of stuff and trying to do a new pocket pass that I would just cut the daggum clock off and just have a three-dimensional leaping pass. And um, it works out good. It's, it's a little off-center when you look at the pass. Um, I'm going to eventually square it up and I'll use my router to round over the edges or something but for the sake of the video it's done um since it was a fill anyway um other than that i can't think of much else to say so i will just tell you my speeds and feeds i used a eighth of an inch uh two flute spiral up cut eighth of an inch end mill bit uh i ran 100 inches per minute plunged up to 30 inches per minute and a step over of 34 percent i believe and i've been going less on the step over and it leaves less of those machining lines it gives you a a smoother finish when you're done i mean obviously not with this because this is a three-dimensional image so you have the three-dimensional finishing pass afterwards but when i'm doing like v-car files or anything like that or just pocket passes it leaves a smoother finish on the surface that was carved instead of all those machining lines um then i don't ever mess with the speeds and feeds on my ball nose bits but it is a 32nd of an inch ball nose this is the fact the first time i've used this tool this bit before this the only thing i had used was the um 16th of an inch and i thought that one came out pretty nice and this just comes out so smooth it looks so like soft um came out really nice i was so happy with it other than you know the clock fail but what can you do live and learn i just have to get back on these uh youtube uh, v carve pro tutorials and figure out what i did wrong when i flipped the clock over i think i might have an idea i think after i reversed the image i decided to change something if memory serves and i moved the, the pocket hole for the movement and I don't believe I recalculated the shaft, the hole for the shaft. But I can't recall. I filmed this video last week as far as the design part of it. I had, this has been a slow week for me as far as videos go. Um, but I'll, I'll get it fixed and I'll do another clock at a later time and we'll get it remedied. So yeah, it was a 32nd inch ball nose and speeds and feeds were factor. I think the step over is like 18% or something. It's, it's substantially less. And I think that's about it. Uh, I'll be back at the end to say bye. I hope you guys have a great day and thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button, please. And uh, I'll be back at the end. This is my 30 degree v-bit blade uh since i forgot to tell you that, that because i failed on the clock so i neglected to tell you what tool i was using but those inserts are awesome i highly recommend them if you're still using v-bits check into them because the replacement blades are half the price um i'll let you know when they start wearing out but so far i broke them but i haven't worn one out Here's where I messed up. Oh no, I did something wrong. Everything's good, except that's supposed to be over here. It's off by a half an inch or so. That's a major bummer. And it's actually a little low too. 
I could probably live with the, the height this way, but this is a big difference there. It's like a whole finger width off. Well, we're going to file this one in the do better next time. But even though it's a failure, it's not a total loss. Let me show you something. Now it's a fish. All right, so I just dumped some mineral oil. Not olive oil. Do not use olive oil. It'll fester and get yucky. Mineral oil, and uh, just it brings out the color in the grain and really does a lot for the wood for not a lot of money. And don't ever put it on the back because it will soak into your walls if you're planning on hanging this onto your wall. Uh, that's about it. Uh, leaping bass, three-dimensional image. Uh, subscribe for more. I'll be uh, back. I got two more jobs coming up. And we're going to get right back into the run, run of things here soon. So hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching and hope you have a great day. I'm out.